Let's move on into looking at how Segment will work with Intercom. So Intercom is a popular messaging tool and a chat widget tool. Right? So let's first add it as a destination to our JavaScript source. So we'll go search for it here. We found it. And then we're going to configure it. If we're going to add it to our JavaScript source, which already has Mixpanel. And now we need to connect to Intercom. So let's click that. You see some destinations will ask you for an API key or a token. Others will do an authentication like this one. And we want to connect segment to our practical analytics intercom account. Yes, that's correct. And now we're being redirected back to segment. Okay. So now we're authorized. And on the settings for intercom specifically, we can look at some of the 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 button, the, the chat widget. We can actually change it. We can change the ID. We can do the app ID. That's actually pull in. We can include context. Uh, and these are things like the device and so on. That's actually included. We want that we want more information about our users. And rich link properties, which is something specific to intercom. We won't get into that for now. But everything's looking good, so let's activate it. Now, from the moment uh, a destination gets activated, it does take a couple minutes for it to appear on your website, but the process is usually pretty quick. So let's refresh the page here so we can see it. Perfect. So now we have two things enabled. So let's try refreshing our page here, which already has segment as a JavaScript loader here. If you want to see more, jump into the first video from Mixpanel. But we're basically loading the JavaScript snippet, which is this one. We're loading it into the page through Google Tag Manager specifically. So we're loading the snippet, which contains all RID and so on. And we have a, a page call, which is a page view call. So if we hop into the debugger, we can see the page we just fired right here. And we can see it, and let's see what we sent it. So now under the bundle, we can see intercom and mix panel and of course segment. Now here's what, what segment is, right? Now segment, we're looking at the engage product specifically, which is the one that lets you send messages to different users. We don't see any users yet because we haven't identified any users. So why don't we try identifying a user here? But here, actually, we can start to see intercom in our website. So the message is now visible on your website and you can start a conversation. So let's actually hide this. And let's hide that too. Let's close that. So this is the intercom widget. And if we can click it, we can say, hey, how's it going? And I just want to, oh, just want to say I'm actually talking to myself. But uh, here's, here's the conversation. So you know this is this is an, an anonymous user that sent this message. We can fire back. <laughs> I'm doing well. Send that, and if we go back to the website, we'll say it right. So that's that's the chat widget functionality of Intercom, which is helpful, especially for customer support and sales. But we also want to look at uh, specific users and sending messages to them, right? So you can imagine someone sent out for your product. And we identify a mix panel, and now we're able to send them a sequence of emails and so on, uh, or even SMS or push notifications. So to do that, we have to identify them through segment. Now this is something we looked at in the mix panel video in a little bit more detail. But we have, you know, we have uh, track calls for events, and we have identify for identifying users. So let's send an event here. So let's go into the console. And it looks like there's an error for intercom, but we're gonna ignore that. So we're gonna send an event. Okay. We go to the debugger, we can see it. Perfect. And no errors. And it was sent over to both destinations. You can actually choose what destination to send data to. Uh, in the track call, any call, you actually have options. So you can decide to only send it to Mixpanel or only send it to different tools. That can be a helpful way if you only want to send data to one tool. 
And now let's identify users. So for Mixpanel, we actually have to use alias and identify the very first time, but for Intercom, we don't. So we can actually fire identify in. Let me go find it. Let me copy it. This is what we want. So we take this specific code sample, pop it in. Uh, I don't want to use this ID. I actually want to use a more simple ID, one, two, three, four. In the mixed final video, we were using email. But the ID can be anything as long as you're able to maintain it. So we're going to take our name and I'm going to take my email here. So we're passing name, email, and then Intercom will collect a few other things that'll be useful to us. So let's do that. And now let's hop over to Intercom. And let's see if we can get some users to pop up here. Perfect. So now we can see there's one user, which is us. It disappear. Let me go find it. Okay, so it's under active. Now here's name and email, and we can see that it was it was passed on in that identify call. We didn't pass phone, company, any of that. We didn't pass any of that. And on the details, we see a few other things, right? So we can see when we were first seen four minutes ago, when we signed up, which is when we were created, which is the identify call, how many web sessions we done, which is all managed by the cookie, and a few other things like the browse information. Um, I believe city is somewhere here, right? Here's the event we sent earlier. So we have a test event, right? So you can send multiple events and they'll get tracked. And profiles. LinkedIn, which I believe is, is being pulled based on my email. And of course, we can see the conversation we had uh, with myself, but the conversation we had with the little widget. So all of that is being done uh, by managing the identity of the user uh, of the cookie. Right? And segment does that automatically. As we can see, the moment segment loads, it loads intercom and it starts managing a lot of stuff for us automatically. And then all we, all we really had to do was create the user. Once we knew who the user was, we could just say, okay, here's the email, here's the email address, Here's anything else relevant, phone, company. And here's a bunch of events that the user might be doing, right? So you can imagine at a, at a product level, like a web app, you'd be sending different events to symbolize actions, like signing up, like doing a core action, like downloading something, viewing something. And then you're also gonna send the, the traits, what segment calls traits, and what I believe uh, Intercom, Intercom calls user attributes. But things like first name, last name, email, phone number, things like that. And once we have this, then of course, you know, we can go to conversations, sorry, not conversation. we can go to uh, the engage product and we can set up a message. We can send a manual message or an auto message, right? And when we do an auto message in Intercom, we can look at different criteria, right? So when we look at users, we can say any user who did this, right? Who signed up in the last 30 days or anything that we have set up. So let's actually do, let's actually set up a custom, user attribute, because name and email are our default attribute, which we'll see, but let's actually set a new one. So once you have a new one, we can actually go here, analytics dot, can we actually fire the thing we just fire? This one. Now we're not, we're not gonna pass the name and email again, unless we need to change it. But let's say we have an app where we have different roles. Maybe you have admin users, end users, and so on. So let's pass on a, a custom attribute called role. This is not a default. We're creating this. And we're gonna call this admin. And then we're also gonna, there. So we have a role admin. So let's now go in here and let's refresh this. And let's see if we can go find it. So we see it, right? So there's role admin. So now we have a custom user attribute that we can use to segment our users down beyond the default things like browser, like city and things like that. Now we have other things we can use, right? And that's that's the power of 
the traits in segment and how they translate to something like intercom. Now, of course, if we were to hop into Mixpanel, we would see all of this information in Mixpanel as well, right? So the data got sent to Mixpanel and Entercom, the same identify information, the same custom user attributes uh, or trait, the same event, it all got sent to Mixpanel too. So now we can see that we can write it once and send it to different tools. And I believe that's all for Entercom. I know there is, uh, and here's actually the identify call that we just sent. You know, we have a new role admin. We can see that even though we didn't pass email and name, segment is passing it because it's it's in the cookie. So it's actually pulling it out from whatever is there and passing it again to to Intercom. If you you know of course if you were to write a new email, then segment will update it and it'll get updated in Intercom as well. And then other than that, uh, another setting that I know gets quite a bit of use is actually this custom inbox button selector, changing the the ID here, and this just lets you have a custom button to open that chat widget, which is here, right? This little chat widget here. You can actually open it with, with some kind of uh, custom button. But that's that's Intercom.